Did you know that the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. Okay. Good, though. Good jokes that I have on this page. I actually, I actually, this is, I used to work in a shoe recycling shop. It was soul destroying. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Was that your first joke or can I laugh at that? <laughs> oh. No points yet. You don't need to mark it down on point a joke yet. Oh, you smile with that. Oh, you can smile, you just can't laugh. What does that mean? You can do everything, can but smile. a noise has to actually come out of your mouth. Exactly. So I can do that? Yep. Hey, you want to hear a joke about a piece of paper? Yes. Never mind, it's terrible. That was terrible. That was, I'm glad you started with that one. I figured he's into it. Yeah. Just I like had one with these that... beads over here. <clears throat> I'm not going to say anything about those beads of yours right here. Tyler, did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? I did not. Great food, no atmosphere. That's a good one. Oh, man. So I watched this uh, documentary this weekend on beavers. Best damn show I ever saw. That was awful. <sighs> what do you call a fake noodle? I do not know. An impasta. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. All right. If you see a robbery at an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? Pretty good, buddy. Mm. I like that one. Mm. Eyewitness. I get it. Exactly. The little eye in front of the witness. Mm. It's very, very good. Um, so last night, my wife found... <laughs> <laughs> You have to finish this story. That's a big enough joke. <laughs> okay, continue. Whew, sorry. Does that mean we both got a point to send? No. All right, so. Yes. So last night, my wife found out that I replaced our bed with a trampoline. Hmm. She hit the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was quality. Two points each. <laughs> that was quality. Hey, what do you call two Mexicans playing basketball? One on one. Hmm. I have to like breathe that in. One on one. Right, I just made right, this one up in, right, in the vein right, of that. Off. In the vein of that. I just made this one up okay. from your one on one. What do you call a Mexican that lost his car? Um, I don't know. Carlos. Hmm. Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Got it. Got it. So I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. 
You know I love shoes. I bought some shoes I from a drug dealer. Shoes. I don't know what he laced them with, but I was tripping all day. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's over there laughing. One, one point for, one point for, for the both camera, of man. us. Um, all right, so seriously, I'm not sick. <laughs> that made even no sense why I laughed. Just happened. That's all I did from that one on one. Yeah. All right. Dude, I'm not saying that your cologne is too strong. This is I'm not saying your cologne is too strong. But the canary was alive before you walked in the room. <laughs> the canary? Oh, Gosh, I would have gone ahead on that one had I kept a straight face. Oh, that doesn't even make sense. Why is it so hot in here? Jeez. Uh, Two peanuts were walking down the street. One was assaulted. And if you'll buy that, you're freaking nuts. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Oh, I thought I could get you. Hmm. Following up on that. Let's see here. <sighs> hey, Dad, can you put my shoes on? No, I don't think they'll fit me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is that close to holding on? Congratulations. I have not gone ahead. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. <laughs> ah! Your mental mind traps will not get me. Okay. Now what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Man, fuck you. You're supposed to let me see the answer. Uh, I'm doing another one. 1992 call. They want the jokes back. That really isn't funny at all. I'm pretty sure that could be considered a laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to have a job at a calendar factory. But I got fired because it took a couple days off. That really was terrible. Um, why couldn't a bicycle stand up by itself? Why? It was too tired. So a man walks into a bar and orders helicopter flavored chips. Bartender says, sorry, we only make plain. Good, I'm in a good space. Mm, good. I'm in a really good space. Good. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Mm. Because he was outstanding in his field. Uh, field. Get it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hey, what was Forrest Gump's uh, password to get onto his computer? One Forrest One. I got it. Yeah. That one. Someone will laugh at that, but not me. Um, why don't <clears throat> skeletons ever go trick or treating? Mm hmm. Because they have nobody to go with. Okay. I see what you did there. See you see what, what I did there? there? Oh, you're copying that dude. Uh, um, how do you make holy water? Just boil the hell out of it. My God, that is funny. What the grape do when he got stepped on? The grape? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He let out a little wine. <clears throat> so I was checking out at the uh, grocery store yesterday. Okay. The guy back in the grocery said paper or plastic. I said, meh, either. I'm bisexual. Sack. <laughs> I, just, I just put myself over the edge on that one. Yeah, you did that to It was that stupid. Mm. Man, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. ah. 
what do you call a fat psychic? I don't know. A four chin Deller. Hmm. <laughs> Steven Chill. Spielberg. Did it? I like Spielberg it. over there's laughing. Oh man. Um, how do billboards talk? Sign language. Huh. It took me a minute to get that one. That should make you laugh. People don't like having to bend over to get their drinks. We should raise the bar. Okay. I got it. <clears throat> Did you know that the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. Good, the good jokes that I have on this page. I actually, I actually, this is, I used to work in a shoe recycling shop. It was soul destroying. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I tried to work that one out. And it just couldn't, uh, just couldn't stop it. Gosh. Mm. What did Michael Jackson call his denim store? Billy Jeans. Dude. That's good. I thought about going on an all almond diet. All almond? Yeah. That I thought, man, that's just nuts. How do you tell the difference between a frog and a horny toad a frog says ribbit ribbit a horny toad says rub it rub it dude what's brown and sticky i don't think i want to know a stick <laughs> sweet for the obvious Hmm. Went for the very obvious. I'm only familiar with 25 letters in the English dictionary. I don't know why. Okay, that's Oops. actually kind of a highbrow humor there. <sighs> the rotation of the earth really makes my day. Good. It's smart. It's science. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? I don't know. But the flag is a big plus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. God, dude, that one was uh that caught me off guard. <laughs> What do you call a man with a rubber toe? I don't know. Rubber toe. Rubber toe. Hmm. What do you think about that? Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. I got one for you. Okay. Did you know that five fourths of people admit that they're really bad with fractions? Hmm. So the, um, you ever been to the Weight Watchers website? Probably. You know, it requires you to have your cookies disabled. Hmm. My God. <laughs> Dude, I just read it. <laughs> oh man, I just read one and I can't even get that. <laughs> That's so bad. Continue. Well, to the man in the wheelchair that stole my camouflage jacket, you can hide, but you can't. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, 
I just had to like that tip my head back to keep the drink in there. <laughs> uh, oh man. Yeah, yeah. So last Christmas we bought a fake Christmas tree. Mmm. <clears throat> oh, man, this one's painful. It's literally painful. <laughs> Let's just rack up some points for you real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm getting them too. I'm probably about five ahead of you, you got this thing on? Yes. Last Christmas we bought a fake Christmas tree and the guy behind the counter said to my dad, are you going to put it up yourself? My dad replied, don't be disgusting. We're going to put it up in the living room. Oh gosh, that was the most painful thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. <laughs> oh, sheesh, that one was good. <laughs> oh, all right. Gosh, we both agree on these things. Smoking will kill you, mm. and bacon will kill you, but smoking bacon will cure it. Mm, cure. That's pretty clever. Mmm. I've decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. It was just collecting dust. It was a good time for that one. Mm. How did Mary and Joseph know that Jesus weighed 4.2 kilograms? Um, I don't know. Because they had a way in a manger. Mm, that's good. Mm. It's Jamaican hairstyle day at work tomorrow. I'm already dreading it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Photons have mass. I didn't even know they were Catholic. Hmm. I think you should be required to look at me when I tell you these. It's tougher. I know For it sure. is. It used to cost two dollars to change the air pressure in my tires at the local garage, but now it's ten. It's inflation for you. Hmm. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school mm -hmm. in this area? It's okay. He woke up. Mm -hmm. I think I saw one the other day that was similar to that. It said that the police were called to a local kindergarten. They were calling after someone was resisting arrest. Oh, my God. Hmm. That's good. That's really good. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> now that I'm older, I have realized that my imaginary friend was only an imaginary acquaintance. That's sad. <laughs> Dude. That's the first point I've had in a long time. So I got this EpiPen, um, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a good friend of mine gave it to me like as he was dying. It seemed extremely important to him. <laughs> that just burns the soul. It was an EpiPen. I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not good when you read one. It happens. <laughs> Alright. Joseph's ahead of you by five points. Alright, I'm good. I got some heaters. 
Well, I already knew this is true. It's not really a joke. But according to most studies, people's number one fear is public speaking. Number two is death. Death is number two. Does that sound right? That means that if you go to a funeral, you're better off in the casket than preaching the eulogy. Hmm. It's not very funny, but it is true. I found out I was colorblind today. News came right out of the purple. I don't get that. Didn't come right out of the blue. That is actually kind of funny. Well, yeah, I just read that one. Really? Yeah, it's right here. Hmm. Scrolling through this thing. Oh, man. I would avoid I would avoid the sushi if I was you. It's a little fishy. Hmm. 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 He says. A man tried to sell me a coffin today. I told him that is the last thing that I need. <laughs> when I found out my toaster wasn't waterproof, I was shocked. That you were. Yeah, oh yeah. Doctor gave me four months to live, so I shot him. Judge gave me 20. Say that again. I was reading one. Doctor gave me four months to live, so I shot him. Judge gave me 20 years. Dude, that is actually pretty funny. You know, when my dad was in the hospital and he died, we, we couldn't remember his his blood type. And he kept telling us to be positive, to be positive. But it's so hard without him. <laughs> <laughs> was that in there? Did you just that yourself? <laughs> Unbelievable. A termite walks into a bar. Mm. Termite walks into a bar and asks, is the bar tender here? Dude, that is good. That is a good one. I see what you're doing. I don't think it'd be possible for me to be a sniper. Not by a long shot. When my wife told me to stop impersonating a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. Holy crap. Dude, I I was feeling so proud of myself. The Sesame Street, I I love puzzles. I bought a Sesame Street puzzle. Mm -hmm. It said three to five years on it. Dude, I (laughs) finished it in 18 months. We just both were awarded two points apiece. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. I thought about that email that's been going around about process, processed meat causing cancer. Yeah? I think it's just spam. Oh, my God. Hmm. <sighs> hey, what was the name? Of that Asian pilot that died in the plane crash. <laughs> I don't know. Something wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, it's 110 degrees in here. It is. <clears throat> All right. I get home for you if you're ready. Is it just me? No, that's that's not a good one. So here I am, just standing in the mirror, admiring my six pack. I better better hurry and put them back in the fridge before they get warm. Mm-hmm. That's good. I ever tell you about the time when I was a sales guy at a payroll company, and my boss asked me, "Who's the stupid one, me or him?" And I said, 
everybody knows you don't hire stupid people. That's good. So I told my doctor, I think I have five legs. He said, oh my, how do your pants fit? Like a glove. That's a good one. That's a really good one. You know, when, when women wear a bikini, you know they reveal 90% of their body me being the polite one, I only look at the covered places. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <clears throat> <laughs> I remember the last thing, the last thing that my grandpa said before he kicked the bucket. You're never going to make it through this one. He said, how far do you think I can kick this bucket? <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think, I think about things and life is all about perspective. You know, just got serious. The, the Titanic sinking, that was an absolute miracle to the lobsters in the kitchen sink. It was. Man, I thought I'd get him on that one. Did you hear about the two guys that stole a calendar? Mm -mm. They each got six months. That's phenomenal. <clears throat> they split it. That's cool. It's so I was in therapy the other day, and my therapist told me that I have a preoccupation with vengeance. Hmm. We'll see about that. Hmm. So, you know, I've been packing up my house because we're moving. Mm -hmm. I gave all my dead batteries away, free of charge. That's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. A recent study shows that women <laughs> I was reading mine and listening to yours and I couldn't handle it women that carry a little extra weight they actually live longer than men who mention it hmm. that makes sense so I accidentally swallowed some Scrabble tiles you, you, you swallowed what? some Scrabble tiles we were playing Scrabble the other day. Okay. Somehow it's popcorn. Just swallowed some. Okay. My next poop could spell disaster. <sighs> I'm such a visual person mm -hmm. that that's an awful visual. That is. But it really was really funny. It'd be a high score too. You know, I want to die peacefully in my sleep just like my grandfather not screaming and yelling like a passenger in his car it's dark that is dark I like this next one I've got this one so last night Sunday night me and my wife watched three DVDs back to back. Luckily, I was the one facing the TV. <laughs> yeah, I didn't laugh. Ah. I'm up on you by seven, my mm. friend. Uh. Dude, I, I honestly think one of my neighbors is stalking me. I I watched them Google my name three times through my telescope the other night. I can't believe you didn't laugh at that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> so at breakfast this morning, my wife said she's leaving me because of my obsession with social media. I almost choked on my hashtag toast. Oh, man. That's a good one. Hmm. 
Mm. That's a good one. No lie, yesterday, a man knocked on my door from our neighborhood and asked for donations for the local swimming pool. Mm -hmm. I went and got him a glass of water. Mm. Good. Good for you. I needed a password for our website <clears throat> that was eight characters long. So I picked Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's funny. That's actually good. I like it. It's not my brand of humor. <sighs> you know, I actually read, this is true. Mm -hmm. I did read this and it caused me pause that 4,153,237 people got married last year. I don't want to cause any trouble, but shouldn't that number have been even? Hmm. You would think. You would definitely think. <laughs> yeah, people used to laugh at me when I used to say I want to be a comedian. <sighs> Nobody's laughing now. So I used to work for a soft drink can crushing company. Okay. It was so depressing. I tell you what, I've got the I've got the fix for ugly guys. If they ever had the ability to get a dollar for every girl that thought them unattractive, eventually there'd be girls that would think they were attractive. Mm. You experienced something similar? Just exactly the same. I told my friend she had drawn her eyebrows on too high. She looked surprised. Holy God. Mmm. <laughs> 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 uh. it's really freaking ironic that the colors red, white, and blue stand for freedom until you see them in your rear view mirror. Hmm. That's true. Hmm. I wondered why the frisbee was getting bigger, and then it hit me. Man, hmm. that's a good one. Dude, if you're not supposed to eat at night, why do they put light bulbs in refrigerators? Hmm. Hmm. My wife told me to take a spider out instead of killing it. We went out for drinks. Cool guy. He wants to be a web designer. This one fits you five years ago. You were great at multitasking. Multitasking. You could waste time, be unproductive, and procrastinate all at the same time. Hmm. Five years ago. I don't really know where you were five years ago. <laughs> R.I.P. Boiled water, you will be missed. I don't get it. M I S, -M -I -S T. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm, relationships are a lot like algebra. Have you ever looked at your ex and wondered, why? That's mm. actually pretty good. So I said to my wife, it's really muggy out today. And she knows me, so she was like, if I go outside and all our, our mugs are on the lawn, I'm going to kill you. As I sipped coffee from a bowl. Oh, my God. Oh, man. All right, so I... Made in the hard drive on my computer, dad ass. So once a month, my computer asks me if I want to back that ass up. <laughs> That's good. 
It was, it was good. good. <sighs> what happens if you drop your iPhone and your iPad in the water? They sink. Huh. Interesting. You know that awkward moment when you leave a store and you haven't bought anything and all you can think is, act natural, you're innocent. Five years ago. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> Is it my turn or your turn? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand what that even meant. So this guy asked me what my father did for a living. I told him he's a magician. He performs tricks like sawing people in half. Then he asked me if I had any brothers and sisters, and I said, yep, four half-sisters and a half-brother. Holy crap. That's good. My wife and I were happy for about 20 years, and then we met. Oh. So one cow says to another, Are you worried at all about mad cow disease? The cow replied, Not at all. I'm a helicopter. Oh my god. Wow, that one is, uh. It stings. It does. It's, it's burning. Hmm. Or should I say, Murr. No, you shouldn't. You should not. You know, you know, in, a, in the beginning of a relationship, that tingly feeling you get when you first meet somebody, that's common sense leaving your body. Hmm. So a man walking down the street meets an old friend with only one arm. He said, hey, where are you off to? The guy says, I'm going to change a light bulb. He says, isn't that difficult to do with one arm? He says, I don't think so. I've still got the receipt. Oh man. Strong people don't put other put others down. They lift them up and slam them on the ground for maximum damage. Hmm. What did you refer to my last joke? Hmm. I was trying to hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Gosh. I started out with nothing. I still have most of it left. That's a good one. So a farmer in the field with his cows counted 196 of them, but when he rounded them up, he had 200. What does that mean? You know, like he rounded them up, got them together, oh, then he rounded them up numerically. Some of these I don't even get. You know, before I'm ever critical of a man or criticize a man, I like to walk a mile in his shoes. Because that way, I'm a mile away and I got his shoes. It's true. Why don't you see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're really, really good at it. Man, that is good. And I used to think I was indecisive, but I'm not so sure. Hmm. The inventor of the throat lozenge has died. There will be no coffin at his funeral. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're, you snore, right? Mm -hmm. Apparently, I snore so loud that it scares the crap out of the people in the car I'm driving. What's white and can't climb trees? 
a refrigerator. Wow. Hmm. This fits right now better than any other time. Is your ass jealous of the amount of shit that just came out of your mouth? Hmm. A book fell on my head yesterday. Uh huh. I've got only myself to blame. Oh my gosh. That's. You're throwing down a good. Hmm. Do you remember that time you put this helmet on and it pulled out your rat tail? Ah, flawless execution. That was good. Mm. That was good. Did you have that for, uh, were you saving that? For just the right time to ruin it. <laughs> just the right time. Artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity. Mm, I agree. What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. Holy crap. That does make sense. You're not fat. You're just easier to see. Mm, I appreciate that. Did you hear about the Italian chef that died yesterday? He passed away. Oh my goodness. Two wrongs don't make a right. Just take a look at your parents. It's a good one. It stings a little. That does sting a little. What's blue and smells like red paint? What's blue and smells like red paint? Blue paint. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> You know that you're ugly when it comes to group pictures and you always get handed the camera. <laughs> Did you just read one and started laughing? Oh, I'm gonna go back to that one. That's a game changer. Last night I was laying in bed, gazing up at the stars and thinking, where's my roof? That's... You know the definition of hospitality? Hmm. It's making your guests feel like they're at home, even when you wish they were. That's a good little one right yeah, there. Right. That, was, that, was, that was good. I once farted on an elevator. It was wrong on so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> that is freaking terrible. Uh, hi, guys. So we have a winner here. Thank you, sir. Speaking of winning in that, dude, <laughs> did I tell you a furniture store won't quit calling me? God, all I wanted was one nightstand. <laughs> that was a good one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So guys, this is episode 24. We just kind of wanted to break it up, get out of the routine, keep everybody guessing. You just never know what's going to come out of these podcasts each week. You just and, never know. Uh, I'm just trying not to laugh right now, which is weird. Um... But we want to let you guys know how much we appreciate. Uh, appreciate you for watching. Appreciate you for listening. Uh, it means the world to us that anybody would uh, care what we have to say. Uh, but we hope you've gotten something out of it. And uh, not necessarily today, uh, but in the other podcasts. So. Don't buy anything with Velcro. It's a total ripoff. I <laughs> I'm trying to give them some, some knowledge to take with them into this great wide Joseph world. has had a few more decades of fatherhood than I have so yeah. these dad jokes just come a little bit more natural but Ooh, yeah. there you go so guys we will be coming at you with a regular episode next week next Sales Wolves Wednesday uh, so with that I'm Tyler Harris Joseph Caldwell we are the Sales Wolves 
Ah, uh.